I'm Sarah Johnson. And I'm Jenny Johnson. And we are mother-daughter co-authors of Trading Up for a King's Daughter. And today we are taking you through Regal Living Secret number two, beginning your day with Abba Father. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. <sighs> and isn't it amazing that God's name is Abba? Hmm. Daddy. I get to call him Daddy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I remember when we were in Israel, we would see these little kids following around their fathers, and they would just be crying out, Abba, 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 Daddy, 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 because they knew that any time they needed love or a hug or help, Abba, Daddy would fix it. And that's exactly what we get to do every morning when we spend time with the Father, with Abba. When we begin our day with the Lord, He's just looking to give us a big hug. He's looking to pour out His love on us. He is wanting to pour out His wisdom on us from His Word. And as a king's daughter, it's amazing that He doesn't require performance from us. All He wants is a relationship. Where is your chair? Where is your chair where God says, King's daughter, just come sit in my lap. Don't fix up. You can't do it on your own anyway. King's daughter, I didn't want you to serve me, work for me tirelessly, or be a great blessing for me. I just wanted to be with you. Let's just waste time together. Let's take extravagant, unhurried time together, your Abba Father. Today, we share the same words, inviting you in to come just as you are. Relax, receive, be in relationship just as you are. You don't need to do anything to fix up. Come, begin your day with Abba Father every day, just as you are. So King's daughter, where is your chair? Close your eyes for a second and just think about a place where you can go the second that you wake up and just spend time with the Lord. I hope that the Holy Spirit is showing you a place and I hope that right now He is showing you that this is representative of God's lap, of a place where you go and experience a daddy-daughter relationship one-on-one -on -one with the King. And sir, you know what's so interesting? Is that you're an heir, H-E-I-R, not for hire, H-I-R-E, and not a slave. And the scripture says, because you are sons, daughters, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, your heart is crying out, Abba, Father, deep calls unto deep. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son, a daughter. Mm -hmm. And if a daughter, then an heir of God through Christ. So King's daughter, put down the for hire sign and put on the heir, H-E-I-R, heartfelt identity to begin your day with your Abba Father. And what rest that brings, what intimacy that brings to your life. And Sarah Mary knew this. She sat at his feet before she got on her feet. And Mary chose the one thing that is needful to sit at Jesus' feet and to hear his words. And Martha was cumbered with many things, careful about so many things, and fretful and anxious. So I would just say, let's go also be inspired by our role model, Mary. Mm -hmm. And choose the one thing that will never be taken away from you as you sit and receive from your Abba Daddy. I wrote a song about this, and it's called I'm Amazed. And it just says, take me to that place where it's just you and me. Let me fall into your arms, lean against your chest, and just breathe. Because that's what happens when we spend time with the King. Mm. It's like we're leaning our, our head on Jesus' chest and we're saying, God, what is your heartbeat? What are you saying? What are you feeling? Show me what your great and mighty plans are for my day. And it is amazing. Even if you start with two minutes, I guarantee you that it will grow and grow and grow as you just enjoy this time when you hear God's voice, when you feel His love, when you experience His presence. So King's Daughter, you were made to begin your day with Abba Father. And I hope that if you haven't already, maybe this is the first thing you can do after this video is go in that chair find your place with him, read his scripture, meditate on his heart, listen to his voice, and most of all, be loved. So what are we going to say to end this? Sit, Sit at his, his feet before, before you, you get, get on, on your feet. feet. Be captivated in Jesus' name.